everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. So this video is actually for a friend of mine. Dennis, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to set up the 2019 Lourdes Hydrofix Premium Edition. Really, really easy. The do's and the don'ts. Things to avoid, guys, that could potentially break the machine. So let's get started. The very first thing you want to do when it's brand new and it's completely dry, there's no water in it. It's just like kind of like this. The first thing you want to do is check the back of it and look for the rubber plug. You want to make sure it's in there and I leave the tape on there just so that way it doesn't pop out by accident. Definitely have that rubber plug in there. Don't move forward until you see that this is in there because otherwise it'll spill water and you can damage the machine. Then I also unplug power to it. You don't want any power to it when you get it brand new and you're just setting it up. Then the very next thing you want to do is you want to put water in it. So you're going to want to pour the water right in here. If you spill it anywhere, make sure to wipe it up immediately and don't try to put water in it if the filter is not in there. Make sure the filter is in here and it goes right in there. When it's completely dry, it takes 100 milliliters. I usually use a little funnel so that I don't spill any of the water. And I usually have a pre-measured cup. This particular cup at this line is, fifth, is measured at 50 milliliters at this line. So I'll pour slowly 50 milliliters and make sure it goes through the filter because you'll see the water going down and then do it one more time when they're brand new there might be a reddish color and the water will obviously come down to here at the bottom and you might see it be red and that's totally normal all right so once you have 100 milliliters in there when it's completely dry then you put water in the pitcher it doesn't matter if it's up to here or up to here it really doesn't matter as long as there's some water in the pitcher then what you do is here's one of the things where you want to be careful always make sure that this little line is aligned with the little line on the pitcher okay so when you set it down they're nice and aligned because i've seen people where they have it crooked and they just go and slam it down and that ends up bending those little pins and that can cause issues so you really want to make sure to have it completely straight and just set it on there nice and easy and then everything will work perfectly once you set this down on this device and you have water in the pitcher and water underneath now this part the bottom part of the pitcher has water on the top and the bottom and you just let it sit there with the power off for six hours this is the break in period process it's soaking all the water up in the membrane once it's six hours guys then the machine is pretty much ready to roll you can fill it up to here that's for 30 minute mode if there's a little line right here for the 10 minute mode but at that point now you can go ahead and just plug in power to it and now what i also will say here hold on one second i need two hands there we go so there's power okay if you're ever going to drain the machine don't tilt the whole machine to drain it this is what the rubber plug is for you're over a sink you pull the plug you wait for all the water to drain out and you put the plug back in that's if you're ever going to travel or you want to package up the machine for whatever reason now that there's power to it then you know you would fill up this picture and you just hit the button and you can see on the screen where you would be at if the machine asks for water again this light will come on if there's water in it and it's simply running low the light will come on and the machine only needs 50 milliliters it will never need 100 milliliters again unless it's completely dry otherwise it will need 50 milliliters again that light will come on and for me i tend to have a little cup next to it and i already know that this line is pre-measured to 50 milliliters and another little thing that i do is never set the device on anything like a towel or anything of that nature you just leave it up against the counter because you want that airflow underneath it and again don't overfill it don't spill water all around it don't have that rubber plug out if you're ever going to swap the top out for the inhalation device or if you're going to take this top off simply to refill it make sure that you lift this pitcher off the device you don't want it on here and then grab this top and twist it if you twist it you're kind of yanking the whole pitcher you know sideways like this and it can damage things underneath it so you want to take the pitcher off and that's another little tip, you know, because sometimes some people can cause damage that way. And then one of my tips is I put a little tray with a little towel in front of it like this. And so the machine is not on anything, but if I lift up the pitcher and go over here, it'll drip onto this tray. And that's just something I like. In fact, I found these trays at the dollar store. They're cheap and they're kind of neat and I kind of like them. So I use it in front of the device like this. Okay, now obviously once everything's ready to go, then you can, you can run the machine and you can start enjoying your hydrogen water. As far as citric acid cleanings, definitely stay on top of uh, citric acid cleanings. People have been wanting me to do an updated video on that because when you do the citric acid cleanings, the amounts that you use are always a little tricky depending on how much buildup you have on your device. So maybe I'll make another video about that, but just read your owner's manual. It should be in there all clarifying how much you should use depending on what type of cleaning you need to do. 
And the only other thing also is when you do a citric acid cleaning for the maintenance of this, make sure that you really rinse out the pitcher really well after you're done, really vigorously, because you don't want to leave any trace of citric acid in here because of the way that it affects the water and over electrolyzation of it. So you wanna really, really check on that. But besides that, that's exactly how you would basically set up your 2019 Premium Lourdes Hydro Fix. And that's it guys, I hope you found the video helpful. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Hope you found this helpful, Dennis. Till next time.